Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren and today I'm going to be doing a winter haul video. Just some things I collected after the holidays because there were some really, really good sales and I decided to pick some stuff up. And also I am in an oversized sweatshirt and a puffball hat again because it's just, you know, it's winter. I want to be cozy. It's cold outside. And yeah, so today I'm gonna jump into the haul video. I kind of have a random assortment of things. I have like some summer stuff, and then I have some winter things, and then I have some makeup products at the end because I feel like not many people haul makeup anymore, and I wanted to haul some makeup products that I picked up. And as always, all the products in this haul video will be linked down below. So if you guys wanna see any of the products or anything, I will have every single link down below. So anyways, let's jump right on into the So the first place I'm gonna start out with is H&M, and H&M was having amazing sales. So they were having like all these racks where they were like $1, $3, $5, like it was insane. Um, I found two items that weren't on sale of course, but I wanted to get them. And the first one was another puffball hat. Um, I now own four of these. I recently like became obsessed with puffball hats like maybe a month ago. So I just got this gray one here from H&M and I love it. It's so, so warm and fuzzy and it's very thick and I don't know, it's cute. I didn't have a gray one, so I like this one a lot. And then I got this gray bodysuit and I'm obsessed with lace up bodysuits. I know so many people are making videos saying to get rid of lace up bodysuits, but I definitely really like them a lot and I don't want them to go. I think they're really cute. So this one is a long sleeve bodysuit. It's upside down. Wow, go me. So yeah, some of these clothes are kind of wrinkly because I haven't ironed them, but um, this is just a gray lace-up bodysuit. I don't know, I thought this one was really simple and you can tuck it in with like ripped jeans and I think ripped jeans look really cute with um, bodysuits. So they're definitely something that are really like fun to wear. The next product they have is from Forever 21 and it's actually another puffball hat. Um, and it looks like this, it's just a white puffball hat. It's pretty much the same as the other one. And this one is actually, these are the same puffball hats. This one I got for Christmas, it's navy. And um, this one's just the white version and I love it. This one was originally $8 and I got it for $4 because it was half off so that's a really really good deal and it's just a really classic hat. I then ordered three things from Abercrombie and Abercrombie has been killing it lately with their clothes. I have been loving them for the past year but yeah so I've been obsessed with their stuff so I had to order some more. They had really good clearance deals so I went in their clearance area and I shopped and I found three really good things. So the first thing is my favorite item in this haul video and it is um, this sweater, it's just like a cow neck type sweater with pockets. Oh my god, do you guys see the pockets? If you're having deja vu, I did actually haul this in my Christmas video, but in the tan version. And I loved it so much and got so many compliments, so I got the gray version. So, obsessed with this. It's so cute and definitely worth the money. I love Then it. I got two pairs of shorts and you're probably like, Lauren, it is January. Why are you buying shorts? But this is the best time to buy shorts because they're all so cheap. Both of these shorts came out to, I think, $8 a piece or $9 a piece. So such a great deal. Um, but I am going to Mexico in March. So I am already preparing and buying some new clothes. So the first pair that I got are these black shorts with this little like tribal detailing. They're pretty boho and I really like them a lot. Um, and like I said, they were like nine bucks, so I was like, yes. <laughs> and they're really fun, they're soft, they're really comfortable. And then I got these here. Um, these are just like this patterned pair, and I love them. My friend has these, and I wore them, and I fell in love with them, and then I saw them for nine dollars, so I picked them up. Um, but they're just like a really fun print, um, something different, and really pretty with a white crop top or black crop top and some wedges in the summer. Oh my gosh, I love these. So both the $9 a piece, I'll try to find them down below for you guys. Again, great purchase. And my last clothing items that I got were two Lululemon headbands. I am, if you know me in person, um, I literally wear my hair in a ponytail like four or five days a week, probably five days a week. Um, just because my hair is really annoying and it gets tangly like so quickly, it's just the pain because it's so long. So I always wear ponytails and I have a lot of baby hair so I always wear headbands. And I love these little lemon headbands but they do have the velcro in them which I love so they do keep back my baby hairs. Um, so I have I think five of these now. I have three black ones because I just love them. And then I got two more. I got a white one and then this like speckled gray and white one. And I, I just love these. These are the Fly Away Tamer headband too. Again, I'll link these down. And then lastly, I went to Ulta and I got some beauty products. So you guys should definitely stick around because I feel like not many people do beauty hauls anymore. I bought a lot of products, a lot of repurchases, but if you guys want to see what I use all the time, 
this is a good video. Um, so I bought, let's see, four shampoos and conditioners. So if you guys haven't noticed, I have a hat on, so it's probably harder to see, but I dyed my hair blonde. So I do have a balayage. Um, my hair is just naturally brunette at the top, and then it goes into this blonde color, and it is really, really blonde. Um, so it might be hard to tell on camera, but it's really blonde, and my hair gets brassy super easily. So if you're a blonde, you probably understand. Um, so I got the John Frieda Purple. Um, color Renew Tone Correcting Shampoo and Conditioner and then the John Frieda Go Blonder. So I'm going to be using the purple shampoo once a week and then using the Go Blonder in between. I then got some repurchased products. I got my mascaras, which is my most asked question, is what mascara I use. So I'm going to college in like a week or so. So I picked up more mascaras. I do use L'Oreal mascaras if you guys are wondering. And this is the L'Oreal Telescopic. Um, I just get it in blackest black. It's the gold tubed one and I got two of these because I go through them in a month. I go through them so quickly. And then um, I have the Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal which I use on top of my lashes. I only use a little bit of this and I mostly just use I then this. got this product here. I haven't been buying that much high-end makeup but this product really intrigued me because I am super pale um, and I hate it. I hate being super pale. So um, these are the Tarte Brazilians um, Self Tanning Towelette. Towel? What? Towel? I just said that so wrong. You're just supposed to put them on before you go to bed and you just like wipe it on like a makeup wipe. Um, I guess like down your neck and on your face and then you go to bed and you wake up with the tan in the morning and a lot of people had really good reviews about these. I'm going to try them out um, right before I go to school. See how I like them? They are just really expensive though. These were $21 for only $10. Then I have four last makeup products from the drugstore. I got the L'Oreal Linear Intense Carbon Black liquid liner and I love this thing it's my favorite liquid liner then I got the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in a darker shade so if I end up using that tanning thing or whatever and I need powder to match it I got the Stay Matte Powder in a darker shade I love this powder it's really great if you guys need a cheap setting powder. and then I got two new products that I've never tried before I got the NYX lip liner in nude pink I'm gonna try it out I've never owned a lip liner surprisingly and everyone's all about lips now like lip liners and all this stuff so I'm gonna try this out and then I got the L'Oreal infallible pro glow foundation because this was in tons of people's videos everyone was raving about it and everyone was saying how amazing it was for a drugstore foundation so picked it up I use foundation a little more than I used to so I really need a new one so anyways guys I really hope you guys enjoyed that video I love filming haul videos they are definitely my favorite so if you guys have any other requests or you guys have any other videos you want me to do or if you guys want me to keep doing haul videos let me know because I probably will keep doing these because I love them um, but yeah so let me know any new purchases you guys got I'm really curious as well as um, any videos you want me to do and I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys all in my next video bye